Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and even more Death Star news. After all the tweets I went over yesterday from Dennis and Guillaume, the weapon designer on Battlefront, Christian, also joined the party and gave us some details on the new equipment coming to the game, as well as even more hero details from Guillaume. First off, he confirms that the two new blasters will be one semi and one fully automatic blaster, and this is pretty cool to hear as we still haven't gotten any automatic blasters as a DLC weapon yet, so I'm very curious to see what the blasters we are getting in the DLC. Someone asked him if we are getting any new grenades in the Death Star, to which he responded with no grenade, but the new equipment will provide plenty of explosions. Very interesting, maybe we could see the return of some stationary explosives such as death packs. Who knows? I'm quite glad we're not getting any grenades as there's already a lot of explosives in the game and I hope this new explosive won't be a rocket launcher or something else that you can just spam in corridors. He also confirms that the Stinger Pistol will be getting a buff but that won't be until the next patch so, so it will unfortunately not be present in the Death Star patch. This is good news as this is a weapon that I really like the base mechanic of but as of right now it simply does too little damage to be worth using. Someone asks if we are getting any new power-ups and Christian responds saying no, we are focused on things you can equip on the soldier. Which probably means star cards and blasters. Another thing he confirms is that the two new weapons is not only pistols, so my guess would be that the automatic weapon will probably be some sort of rifle. The last thing we get from Christian is an actual confirmation that the bow rifle is coming later down the line from the Rebel series. This weapon has actually not officially been confirmed up until now, but I saw it at Star Wars Celebration and it has been shown in the Bespin stream and so on. This weapon is probably not coming in the Death Star DLC, but later down the line, but it's always nice to get some confirmation. Moving back to hero designer Guillaume, he talked a bit more about the heroes coming in the Death Star DLC. A couple of guys asked him regarding heroes versus villains in the Death Star DLC and he gave kind of a vague answer which kind of indicates that it is coming to the Death Star but just to clarify we are probably not getting heroes versus villains in the Death Star because of the same reasons we couldn't have it in Bespin and so on. You will simply have to trust me on that. I know the tweets might be a bit confusing, but I can guarantee you that we are most likely not getting Heroes vs Villains in the actual Death Star DLC. But he does however confirm that they are working on something secret hero related that they will be revealing later after the Death Star, which has something to do with season pass holders. So hopefully we will get a full on season pass Heroes vs Villains or something along those lines for those of us who have all the DLCs and want to play them together. And this does for obvious reasons have to be added separately from the Death Star because if it was in the Death Star that would kind of be weird for people who only bought that DLC separately. Some bad news is that they have unfortunately not nerfed Lando's power shot, which means that you will still be able to one shot heroes across the map, which is pretty annoying to be honest, but luckily this is mostly a problem on maps such as Jakku. He will however take a look at that for the next patch after the Death Star. He also explains a little bit about Chewbacca's roar. This roar was believed to affect the enemies based on an earlier interview, but as of right now that is not the case, but it instead boosts your teammates so he isn't scaring Imperials, but he boosts the Rebels instead. We don't know exactly how he boosts them yet though. He mentioned that they tried to make him affect the Imperials with control alterations, but quickly realized that it was really confusing and irritating for all players, so I'm glad they changed that to simply boosting the teammates instead. He also says that the Imperials shouldn't be close range to Chewbacca, that's for sure. So I'm glad to hear that he will be a fierce close quarter fighter, because that's the way he's supposed to be. In terms of what he is inspired by, he says that the looks is mostly based on Chewie in the original trilogy, but even episode 7 was considered in the design of his bowcaster because of how big role it has in that movie. Lastly, I want to clear something up that I kind of misunderstood with Guillaume's previous tweets, they have not made Han Solo's shoulder charge usable in air, but the opposite actually. It was possible to use it in the air before, but now they've fixed so that you need to be on the ground to use it, which makes a lot more sense. Apologies for that misunderstanding in my latest video. But that brings all the important news to an end. They will probably keep on tweeting the rest of the week and hopefully we'll get some official blog posts or maybe even a trailer later this week. And I will keep you all up to date as always, so don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. But thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.